In this video, we're going to look at different journey mapping tools, the advantages and downsides to them, so you can decide which one is most suited for your situation, allowing you to journey map like a boss. Let the show begin. Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to the Service Design Show. This show is all about helping you to do more work that makes you proud by designing and delivering services that have a positive impact on people and are good for business. And in this episode, we're going to talk about journey mapping tools. And these days, it seems that everybody is doing journey mapping, which is, well, an okay thing because it helps people to focus and think from the customer perspective. We've talked a lot about journey mapping on this channel already. And I even have a full masterclass on customer journey mapping essentials, which you can find over here or down below in the show notes. But what we haven't addressed yet is journey mapping tools. And the reason why it is important to talk about journey mapping tools is because having the right tool, the tool that is suited for the job will make your life so much easier. What I see happening is that people stick with very basic tools they already are familiar with to create journey maps. They're afraid to explore or set up criteria uh, for new tools. It can be overwhelming really quickly. But the consequence is that if you are stuck with basic tools and don't look any further, you might have a hammer which will allow you to create a hole in the wall but it might be helpful when you know that there is out there is like a drill and when to use a hammer and when to use a drill. And the same uh, applies to journey mapping. Sometimes you need basic tools, but in other situations, it's really good to have tools that are dedicated for the job. Using a suboptimal tool is not only a pain in the ass for you and your team, you, but you're probably also wasting a lot of time and the end result is probably also below average. What we also don't want is investing a lot of time learning a new tool just to realize at the end that it didn't make your life easier. What might look as a quick solution right now could end up costing you a lot of time in the end. So I'm here to help you make a more informed decision and make your life easier. What is your favorite journey mapping tool and which ones have you tried already? Leave a comment down below and let's learn from each other. So for me, there are three categories where journey mapping tools fall into. We have the basic analog tools. We have the online, digital, all-in-one hybrid tools, and we have the dedicated digital power tools. Let's go over them one by one and see what the advantages and disadvantages are. So the first category of tools are the basic analog tools. These are your post-its, your Sharpies, your brown paper. Who doesn't love them, right? We've all used them. I've used them extensively and I still do. They are great for when you're doing a workshop, with your team, the advantages are obviously they are disposable, they are cheap, they are super flexible. Um, you can use them probably in any situation, which is also the downside. They don't provide any structure and it's really hard to document the outcomes of these tools, as you probably know after doing a customer journey mapping workshop. The second category is what I call the digital anything goes tools, the hybrid tools. I'm talking here about things like InDesign, PowerPoint, Excel, Keynote. Um, these are the tools that people usually start using when they want to digitize the outcomes of a journey mapping workshop. I've used them, I've used them a lot. I'm not ashamed of it. Uh, I think we've all used them. Um, they are pretty crude. It's like uh, the hammer that allows you to create a hole in the wall, but the hole won't be pretty polished uh, and, and neat, but it works. You can get the job done. Um, when you might be thinking, okay, what about things like mural or real-time board? Um, I still consider those to be like the hybrid tools or the anything goes tools. Of course, you can use them for journey mapping. They are pretty decent, 
but they are not tailored for making journey maps. So what are the advantages to these all-in-one tools? Well, usually people start using them because they already know how to use them. So you, you can leverage that existing knowledge. Um, they already have a license for this. It's installed on the computer, so you can start really quickly. You can create a first draft really quickly. But I think there are more downsides to these tools than there are upsides. So the downsides are usually there are the outcomes of these tools are terrible to maintain. Usually they are also terrible for collaboration uh, with exceptions of tools like Mural and a real-time board. It, it's, it's better there, but it's still a challenge. Um, they, they don't give you any guidelines or structure either. So your, when, you make, when you have a journey map in, I don't know, Excel or PowerPoint, you're always relying on the person who thought of the structure. And when that person leaves, you have no idea how the map uh, is supposed to work. Also, things get lost with these tools. Files get lost, uh, file names are different. It, it becomes a chaos really quickly. The third category of journey mapping tools is what I would call the dedicated digital journey mapping tools. And I'm talking about tools like Smaply and Custlands. More and more of these tools are popping up and I might do an in-depth comparison uh, of these tools in the future. And, um, you know, these tools are great because I think uh, like a professional, we are professionals that deal with cu uh, customer experience. We need our professional uh, tools as well. Uh, there's a reason why professional construction workers use tools from brands that we as consumers don't even know of. You know, they have their own specific set of tools that are tailored to actually getting the job done of a construction worker. So the same, I think, applies to anyone who calls themselves a customer experience professional. So what are the downsides to these uh, dedicated journey mapping tools? Well, one of the downsides is, yeah, you need to learn a new tool, which requires time. And the other challenging thing is that the tool needs to be purchased, which I actually I think is uh, a benefit. You need to invest in the tool, your time and money. So what are the advantages? Well, you know, maybe one of the biggest advantages is that the, the, the knowledge that you start building in, in these dedicated journey mapping tools, that knowledge sort of stays around. It doesn't get lost. The next time you need to work on a journey map, uh, you can use the journey maps that you made before. There's a really clear structure. Uh, you can find the journey maps. Uh, you can explain to new employees how these journey map uh, maps look, how the system works. So it's it's much more co coherent and uh, probably much more effective in the end. Okay, so now the big question, which tool should you use? Should you always be using professional journey mapping tools? Well, probably not. It really depends on how serious you are about customer experience within your organization. If you're just playing around with it, then I probably wouldn't recommend starting with these professional tools. If customer experience on the other hand is seen as vital for your business, then you're probably better off investing the time and money in these tools because it will pay off in the end. On the other hand, like I said, if you just want to explain to your teammates what journey mapping is and how it works, and you want to do it in a small workshop where the results of the workshop will be tossed away after the session, just use post-its and brown paper. You'll probably be fine. So I hope this helps you to pick the right tool for your job. And I'm really curious, which tools do you actually prefer to use and which tools have you tried? Which ones work the best for you? Make sure to leave a comment down below. If you want to learn more about journey mapping, like I said, I have a masterclass on journey mapping essentials, which you can find over here. Uh, so sign up for that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, be sure to do so. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.